Hello everybody. Welcome to Erndale's and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. It is December the 7th today and I'm going to be staying off camera today. I had a 12-hour headache, maybe even a migraine. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've had one and I look like rubbish. So I'm just going to do my videoing this way today. So I had this little doll pinned to a curtain in my spare room for the last year or so. I made her a couple of years ago and she's just a very simple construction. I, I ripped this head and her hands off of something that I bought and uh, she had such a pretty little face that I thought I would turn her into an angel, but I never got around to making her wings. So her construction is very simple. It's just some lace length of lace that I glued on to her. Well, I made a little body with just wrapping some wool together. And then I covered her arms with some lace. And then I I glued this skirt on. And then I just covered her with little bits and pieces of crochet that I had. So this is a part of a doily, or it is a full doily. This is a, a little doily. And then I I covered, put some lace around here, and I, I um, squiggled some, just some cotton, crochet cotton all around. And this is a tiny little piece that I just crocheted just for her little cap. And she's got a little rose here. And then she's holding just some jewelry findings that I had in, in my, my little box there. She's got a pretty little blue brooch. And this was off of something, I don't remember what, but it was kind of pretty. And then I just added a little crocheted twist and a couple of beads. And then she's got some beads on her on her um, little dress here too. So I always intended for her to be an angel, but I never ever got around to making her wings. So today I decided that would be a good thing to do. I've made one. I just want a simple little wing. I don't I didn't want anything elaborate and I want in keeping with the colors that she is, your crews and creams and whites. And I've been collecting crochet cotton for years, old crochet cotton. This is a really I don't even know where I got this stuff. I think I've just been picking this up at garage sales and flea markets and stuff like that. And some of this is quite old. This is Twilly's 20. This is from England. So that's a 20 gauge. There's not much left in here, but that's a lovely uh, cotton. And it's the one that I used to make this. And it, it turned out really nice. And, and see what I mean by the sheen? It has a really nice shine to it. And it's really pleasing to work with. That's what I really like about it. I love the feel of this when I'm working with it. It just slips through your fingers so easily. It's lovely. I've made one wing and I'm going to make the other one. And I'm not going to, I think I'll, I'll put them like this on her. Just a very simple little wing, nothing fancy. And I think she'll look really pretty. I might hang her on my tree, but I think she'll go back on the, the curtain in this in the um in the spare room after christmas she's hung there since i made her so if any of you want to know how to make one of these or if you want me to do a tutorial on this let me know in the comments below i'd be very happy i have some more hands maybe and heads maybe not quite as pretty as this but i do have more and i could i could actually do a video in the new year on how I made this. Uh, if you wanna make some for yourselves, just let me know. So I'm gonna get busy and do her other wing. I will very gently starch this wing. I don't, I don't really need to actually, if I glued it on just, or tacked it on, I don't even need to glue it. I could just tack it, but I think I will give it just maybe a little bit of, of starch just around here, just for body's sake. And uh, yeah, that's going to be her simple little wing. She's pretty, isn't she? OK, 
Okay, I got out my little tray of loose beads. I've got lots of beads. There's some nice little clear beads in here. It's like seed beads. I like these little silver ones actually, but I don't know if I have enough of those. And I also have in here, what have I got? Ooh, yeah. Those are nice. I think that's what I'm going to use. I'll just throw some in here. Of course, they go all over the place. And I've got some white glue there. And I've got my trusty old toothpicks that I use for absolutely everything. I'm just going to put one on the end of the toothpick. And I'm going to sit it in the glue and I'm going to pop it on there. It's as easy as that. I'm just going to put them random. I might put quite a few on the wings. could use tweezers but toothpicks much easier this white glue will dry clear you won't see it when it's dry and uh, all you'll see is the bead I'm gonna do one in every one of these outside um, shells just in where the shell was made Putting a bead in every one. So I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. I'm getting a sore throat. I don't know. I think I've picked something up and my headache's coming back too. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And um, I might just close my eyes for a little while and have a nap. And then when this is all dry, I will put it back together and I will show you my finished angel when she's all done. And if you want me to show you, do a tutorial on the making of this little one, just let me know. I'd be happy to do a tutorial at some point. I mean, not for Vlogmas, I won't. And the other thing about Vlogmas is I'm going to be cutting my videos down a bit. I'm just finding that um, making these long videos is quite exhausting and getting one up every day. And I have other things that I, I need to attend to and they're not getting done. So after this one, I think the videos are going to be much shorter, if you don't mind. And I do thank you for stopping in and spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate every one of your comments and please like and subscribe and help my my channel grow today is december the 7th and it is the seventh day of advent today he is going to get some snowman white hot chocolate snowman poop white hot chocolate with marshmallows and he's going to get a little vintage piece of of Canadian history. This was um, this is a little old fashioned bottle opener. It's from the CN Tower in Toronto, and is actually made in Canada. You cannot find anything made in Canada anymore like this. And this was brought home by my parents. My dad had his 25th anniversary of the company that he worked with. They flew him to Toronto, him and my mom. And it was the first time really that they had been on that kind of a trip. They stayed in a hotel and they were wined and they were dined and they went to the uh, falls, Niagara Falls, and they had a wonderful time. And this was one of the things, one of the souvenirs that they brought home. So this is quite old. And scenes as Jonathan is in to vintage things, he will really cherish this. And it was his grandparents as well. So 
I know he will cherish it. So that is what he's opening today.